each other down As long as we're together Things will always turn around Oh, pardon me! I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm going to have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and booty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh me, oh my, you even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, Hi I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite. 
favorite color is not! Yeah-huh. It's so! What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk. Or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> Goodness! Well, at least they seem comfortable. I think. I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh... The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here! Look at this! <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume! <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, oh, boy! You must be having a great time! Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And that's what we're doing. Huh? Mm. I 
anything better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? We are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. surprise of the performance before cabaret night. Do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with me? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Oh. Oh. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake, we'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and, and those twins. <laughs> Mr. Longface! I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> Good job. 
I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, uh, I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. Huh. Oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for a vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey, I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by, by, why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, Sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh. And be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Best friends forever we never let each other down As long as we're together Things will always turn around Our city girls have the courage We're not afraid to take our chance In the end it's always worth it So make your move and do your dance We might get lost, but it's okay 
enough of the limelight. So, I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> Uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh! Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan together. 
can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Can Bloom. Right away. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to Very Big City! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since... <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. But what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> You're right! Where will my customers go? Uh, what will happen to us? We'll be what lost! We a critical matter indeed. What will happen to us, and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. <gasps> Brilliant plan! We... The Berrykins shall take charge for duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City. Yeah! Don't forget the scent stems. My customers love them. Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud. Okay, I think you're ready to. Oh! Oh my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Barrick and Bell! What? Did I miss a spot? <sighs> I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was. Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> pepper under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, 
Never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! 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 Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh Barrack and Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... Uh, we're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need. Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. Begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I. No! Not that one! Leave this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! <sighs> Well, then, uh, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinking slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yeah! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Uh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! <laughs> 
Is everything all right, Berrykin Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Hmm, that doesn't sound good. <gasps> I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. No, a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! <laughs> what now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby Berrykins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... <sighs> it was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I, I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid. You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? A 
And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead? A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. 